guys, Dr. Cliff AUD here with Hearing Tracker at ADA 2018, and I'm here with Wendy from Widex. Wendy, thank you so much for taking time this afternoon to meet with me uh, and to be interviewed. Um, the thing that I want to talk about today is that at AAA, you guys are actually building up this big release of this new hearing aid, but here at ADA, we've actually had that hearing aid out for a little bit, so tell me about the Widex Evoke. We have, and it's been really exciting. Um, Widex Evoke is a, it's a spectacular combination of a hearing aid system that is intelligent today but can get even smarter tomorrow. Um, on the intelligent today, we have numerous sound classes that the hearing aid can navigate through as patients are wearing it in their everyday life. We know they're in such a variety of situations, so the hearing aid system can automatically manage those. And on the intelligent today, we've got our wonderful machine learning right so that's app. the buzzword with this particular hearing aid is. is that these hearing aids can you can essentially train them to learn a certain way using machine learning you can. right so let's actually take a look at the app because I know that that everyone who's watching right now wants to be like what the heck are you talking about mm -hmm. so you actually showed this to me and demoed it to me last night um, it's pretty impressive so what are we looking at here so what we're looking at is the evoke app on an iPad but it can also run on an iPhone and an Android phone also so the Evoke app allows a user to listen to what we call paired comparison. So a lot like when you go to the eye doctor and you do you like A, do you like B? So the patient can listen to these in their environments where right. they may want just a little bit of extra clarity or comfort, whatever it is they're looking right. for. So this, and I just want to make sure that this isn't like replacing a comprehensive fitting from an audiologist, Not at right? All. In fact, whatever changes the patients make do not get applied or override the fitting that the audiologist Okay, so you made. don't really have to worry about like messing it up. Nope, you're right? not gonna okay. undo the fitting, not gonna undo the verification that the right. patient had done. This actually just adds an extra option for the patient in these specific situations that outside the clinic we can't always right. predict and we can't be with our patients, right. right? So this allows them to listen to these paired comparisons of A and B. And for myself when I listen to them and for most people, there is usually a significant difference between A and B, and there's an, a pretty quick preference. So once the patient has a preference, they can actually decide how much better it was and go on to the next choice of A and B and listen again and make that decision. So you're now, essentially, you're just, you have two different sounds that you're listening to in the environment that you're in, and it's actually, you can choose, like, I actually like this setting a little bit better than that one, and you can tell it that, and it is learning with you as you go, because you're essentially training it. You are, in fact, by the time I've done a couple of these, two or three, the machine learning through the app is already learning about my preferences. So if I listen to three and answer, it's going to be different than if you listen to three. And the choice for, for four will be different for both of us. Over time, the, the app actually learns your preferences so that if I am in an environment where I need some additional help, I might only need to listen to one or two because it knows right. what I like. It's a lot like Netflix, so, right? Right. Like they already know what shows I'm going to like after I've watched five different shows, yep. right? And so. they're usually right on. Right. So it's a great way to get to where you need to be faster. So once I've done that, I can actually finish and say, I'm good right now. I could keep going if I want. And if I want to save that, I can save that. And I can take a picture of where I'm at uh -huh. right now and I can change the name so that if I go back to that environment, I can queue that program up. But I can also just go back when I'm done with that environment to my everyday listening. My We call it universal. Okay, very good. So yeah, we can actually see here on this that uh, we have oh, a bunch of different programs, but universal. And so these right here is something that your hearing care provider would actually program for you. Yep. And then when you go in and actually make the adjustments, you're going to get prompted with these different favorite programs that you can rename for that particular environment that you're in. Yep. Uh, and even take a photo of that environment. I think we did that yesterday. Yeah, we did. We were playing right. around. We yep. took a picture of the booth since this is the environment we were in. So I would know, oh, when I'm in the Widex of Oak Right, that's when that's I need to be in this program. Exactly. That's very cool. So when I close and open the battery yep. door, though, I always go back to my Go universal. back to Universal. Okay, yep. very good. So. so that's an exciting thing that you guys have going on that I haven't seen in any other hearing aids at this point uh, with the machine learning side of things, right? Correct. This is so, the only machine learning application in the hearing industry. So what about the other core things about Evoke and what makes it so good, right? So um, you get direct connectability with an iPhone. Yep, correct? direct streaming and, and coming very soon, very, oh. very soon. 
TV play. Okay, so are they hearing it here first, TV. or do some people know about this already? Maybe a little bit, okay. <laughs> but it's the first time we've shown a brochure. Okay, so what are you talking about with that? What does that mean? So TV play yep. allows a patient to automatically stream from the TV to the hearing aids with okay. no intermediary Nothing interface. Nothing in between, that's exactly. terrific. Exactly, so just automatically. So talk about Netflix. Yep. Netflix right Netflix to the hearing right aids. right into your brain. Nothing right. around it, yep. Very good. The other things that make the White Ex of Oak so special is White Ex, we have a commitment to audibility. We have a commitment to providing the patient with the greatest sound window that we can. And that doesn't mean discomfort on the top end. We go up to 113 dB, but we don't make that uncomfortable for the patient. Uh -huh. But we also know that at the bottom end, our soft consonants, are they're so quiet. So we start amplifying at 5 to 20 dB, which is unparalleled right. in the industry. We want those soft consonants to be audible to the right. patient. We handle noise in right. that environment with our soft level noise reduction, but speech is always present. So we want to give patients the greatest access to sound that we can. Very good. So um, something we actually talked about a little bit before about the professional fitting of the devices, right? Mm -hmm. um, I have people tell me all the time, but the technology today doesn't require verification mm -hmm. of hearing devices. I want to know from a manufacturer that you're representing here today, I want to know what your thought is on that. Well, I have some pretty strong opinions about verification and how important it is for all the reasons of, for all of the things I saw with my patients when I was in clinical care. The hearing aids do an awesome job at amplifying, but verification is so important to match that to the patient's ear canal. We don't have any way of estimating that as a manufacturer of what their ear canal size is. And we always need to check our work as well as customize right. the fitting to the patient's ear canal. So I believe that verification is the key to starting the process. There you go, that's from a manufacturer right there telling you that verification really is important. It is. Even though you have all of these awesome features that can fine tune things a lot better for you based on the environment that you're in. Absolutely. So, Wendy, thank you so much for taking time with me today. Um, I'm sure this won't be the last time that we do this as you guys keep rolling out more and more technology, the TV stuff, right? I mean- it, And there's more coming. And Something there's more coming, right? So basically yeah, when yeah. I hit the submit button to upload this video, um, it's we're gonna be out of date, right? Because you guys are gonna release something new, right? We try. That's how it works. So very good. Thank you so much, guys. That is it. We'll see you next time.